This is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Good morning, I'm John Delano. Welcome to another edition of the Sunday Business Page. And our very, very special guest today is Michael Johnson, who is a former congressional staffer who has written an absolutely fascinating book called Fixing Congress. Mike, it's good to be with you. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, good to be with you, John. I will point out to our viewers that Mike was on Capitol Hill back in the 1980s when I was on Capitol Hill, and it's great to see you. Tell us a little bit about this book you've written. You want to hold it up and show us. Sure. Um, it was, um, this has been a, a project of, of, of a number of years uh, by a former colleague of mine, uh, Jerry Clymer, and um, we just got more and more disenchanted with uh, people walking away from politics, turning it off, and um, the dysfunction of, of Congress, and realizing that in the end, the founders wanted the citizens to run the government through their representatives. And um, that has that has just gotten totally out of whack. So we wrote a book intended for citizens so that they could educate themselves and learn about reforms uh, that they could uh, uh, push with, with their uh, representatives. I think that's very important because I think there are a lot of misconceptions about how Congress operates. And I know in your book, you point out a number of them. Uh, but the fact is that all is not hopeless even though we think Congress is totally dysfunctional right now. Yes, that's exactly right. Uh, the institution is sound. Our system of government is is sound. The The basics are there. We have just lost sight of, of the intent of the founders and, and what citizens need to do, not only to uh, uh, vote, uh, but also uh, to exercise their responsibilities to keep things on track, because it's off the rails. It is off the rails. So let me ask you, you know, we only we could spend hours on this topic. Yes, we the could. Dysfunction of Congress and how to fix it. But uh, take uh, 60 seconds. What are some of the key things that could be done to fix Congress? Well, first of all, Congress has to reform itself. There are so many procedures that are are no longer effective and actually circumvent uh, the legislative process. So uh, there are many reforms. The budget, particularly the budget process, is so out of whack, and that that affects all of our lives, businesses and, and citizens alike. And um, there are, uh, we based the book on, on five basic fundamental changes that need to be made. Uh, one is civics education, and it's it's unfortunate, but 40% of the American people can't name three branches of government. 40% um, can't uh, pass the uh, the civics test for citizenship, when 80 to 90% of of immigrants do. Um, also, uh, civility. Uh, we've got to get back to a civil environment where we can talk with each other and and reach compromise and media literacy is very important now because there is so much disinformation uh, out there and um, especially on social media 57 percent of the american people think incivility is is uh, promulgated on on social media and uh, finally it's civic activism uh, uh, Eisenhower, uh, I, I remember so well, said that a, a famous Frenchman said, "We uh, war is so important now that we can't leave it to the generals, and uh, politics has become so important we can't leave it to the politicians." Well, I think you've done an excellent job summarizing uh, summarizing exactly what you Thank advocated. You. I couldn't agree more with the lack of civility in the Capitol Hill in our day. Bob Michael, your boss, the Republican leader, and Tip O'Neill, the speaker, got along. Even though they disagreed on a lot of things, they got along, and that was important. So Yeah, that's um, absolutely right. Michael Johnson, thank you, sir, very much. The, your book is available at bookstores and Amazon and all the rest of the outlets. It's called yep. Sing Congress. Thank you, sir, very much for spending time with us today. I well, good to see you again, John, and thank you very much. 
And thank you for watching this edition of the Sunday Business Page. Have a great Sunday, everybody.